All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome. Here we are with basic beat number one. This is a foundational rock drum beat, which can also be used for many different styles. Um, and this is really considered the foundational drum beat when anybody is learning drum set. Uh, we use counting to kind of walk our way through this, and it makes it a lot easier for all the different steps that we'll do for today's beat, as well as everything else we're there for after. All right. So what we do first is we realize that when we play these types of beats, we're gonna break it down into eight notes, eight groups or eight things that we count. And in this place, we are going to go with one, two, three, and four, and then in between those, we're gonna count and. And it's gonna sound like this: one and two and three and four and. It kind of has that feel of an analog clock tick tocking back and forth. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. And that's very continuous, and we use that for a lot of what we do with music. So it's a great way to start learning now and make everything else in your drumming journey much easier. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna count one, and then and, two, and three, and four. Okay, it's gonna go something like this. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and. And that's something you should practice doing. Practice counting, especially when you play. It helps what you're gonna do on the drum set line up and make it much easier, all right? So practice that in your own. Spend a lot of time just counting, counting, counting. You can do this while you're tying your shoes or eating some food. Just don't choke. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to pay attention to what we're going to do with everything here. Now, first of all, we're just going to use our two hands, our right hand, our left hand, drumsticks in each, and then our right foot on the bass drum. Our left foot's not going to do a lot. It's just going to rest here and hold down this hi-hat, these two cymbals together so they're not moving. Okay? Now, we're going to play and we're gonna count, and we're gonna line things up. We're gonna start with this bass drum down here. And I'm gonna step on that pedal and play the bass drum on the one and on the three, which means when I count the number one, I'm gonna play the bass drum. When I count the number three, I'm gonna play the bass drum. A little something like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and, and that goes on and on and on and on for this drum beat. It's continuous. And when you practice these, you want to practice these for a minute or two nonstop once you kind of get the flow. And this way, it'll really help you build that muscle memory so you don't forget how to play it. And every time you want to play a drum beat like this, you can just go do it. All right? The next piece we're going to do is we're going to add in the snare drum. And we're going to play that with our left hand. Now, if you are a lefty, I'm a righty. If you're a lefty, you're going to switch this stuff. So your drum set will look essentially backwards compared to mine. And in that case, you would play your snare drum with your right hand. But for this, because I'm a righty, and if you're a righty, you're gonna use your left hand on that snare drum. And it sounds like this. Play the snare drum on two and four. All right, here we go, same counting. Ready, go. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and, okay? Now, two and four here, we just played a minute ago, one and three on the bass drum. So let's combine that. It's basically gonna look like this. One and two and three and four and. So it's almost like they're having a little conversation going back and forth. Here we go. Ready, go. One and two and three and four and one and three and four and four and all right here's where it may get a little tricky right because all of our body parts are going to start working what's going to happen here my right hand is going to play the hi-hat up here and that's going to play all eight notes that account the one the and the two the and the three the and the four the and so before i get these guys involved let's practice our right hand just playing up here all right ready one and two and ready go one and Two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Now we're going to slow that down a little bit because that could be a tongue twister as we try to say that. So let's play it a little bit slower and see how it goes. One and two and three and four and one and two and three 
and four in. What's really cool about what's happening with our right hand playing this hi-hat, this becomes a guide. Everything we're gonna play between our bass drum and our snare drum, we can use and line it up with this. So while it's gonna be a challenge to coordinate our hands with our feet, once we do, we start to feel comfortable with that, it's really easy to line it up together. So that's gonna look like this. I'm gonna play the bass drum on the one and on the three, snare drum on two and four. So we're gonna go one and two and three and four. And just like we did a little bit ago, and now we're gonna add in the hi-hat. And that's gonna guide it. So I'm gonna start nice and slow, all right? One and two and three and go. One and two. Now this part will tend to be the most challenging at first because you're really just trying to get a feel to be able to line up everything that's happening, your hands and your feet, your counting. But what I'm doing now is simply having a conversation because I've done this for so long, I've built up the muscle memory. And that's when our muscles get so used to doing something that they can play it without having to think about it, right? So that means you gotta practice this a lot. And every drum beat, every drum beat, every technique and practice and exercise, you wanna practice those a lot because you build up this muscle memory where your hands feel so used to doing what they're doing that they don't have to think about it. Your mind doesn't have to focus on it, all right? So here's that again. One and two and a little faster. practice that. This is basic feet number one, okay? This is the foundation. This starts everything that we're going to branch out from. And that counting, get used to that because that's going to make it easier to line it all up, all right? Basic beat number one, practice, enjoy, and I'll see you next time. Take care.